We all know the story of Jonah and the whale. We pretty much all learned it as kids. And if you're not familiar with it, Jonah was supposed to go to Nineveh to preach. God wanted him to go and preach there to the people because it was an evil city. And he did not feel safe with that, so he decided, I'm going to run and go the other way. So he's on his way to Tarshish, which is the exact opposite way of, of Nineveh. So I got on a boat. He was asleep, and a terrible storm came up. And um, the guys were you know, throwing stuff overboard and trying to lighten the load. And they started praying to all their pagan gods, and it got worse. And they drew lots to see who was the blame for this. And, and um and, the, and Jonah's name came up. So they went and got him and they found out that he was running from God. And they said, what do we do? How do we get your God to calm these seas? And he said, throw me overboard. And that's what they did. And that's what I want to talk to you about today on your morning cup of inspiration. What did Noah do when he hit the water? Well, basically, he dropped like a lead balloon. He was getting tangled up in seaweed and it says he was going down. And then what did God do? And Jonah 1, 17, it says, Now the Lord provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. First thing that I always ask is, if he's in the belly of a fish for three days and three nights, wouldn't there be like acid in that coming in to dissolve and, you know, digest all the food that's in there? But God protected him. He just had him in that belly of the whale. And I think that was for, for a reason. There's no light. It's completely dark. But he knows that he's swallowed by a great fish. So what did Jonah do? He started praying. But he wasn't just praying. If you read uh, Jonah chapter 2, he's praying from inside the fish. And he prayed to the Lord his God. He said, in my dis distress, I called to the Lord. And he answered me from deep in the realm of the dead. I call for help. But what he's going on, if you read it verse for verse, it's taken out of the scriptures in Psalms, in different verses in Psalms. But it almost relates verbatim to what Noah was going through. So he was quoting the scripture and then praying for God to help him, that he was going to preach. He was going to do what God wanted him to do. And it says, And the Lord commanded the fish, and it vomited Jonah onto dry land. That's in Jonah 2. Um, 10, the last verse there. So God answered his prayer. But what I want to talk to you about is what did Jonah do? He was quoting scripture. See, we need to know what God's promises are. We need to study and learn these. So when we go to pray, we can quote scripture. Now, God doesn't need to hear it. He already knows what he said. But it's for us to know that he said this for us and he's there for us. People that are in financial need, um, say, Father, you promised in your scripture that you would supply all my needs according to your riches and glory in Jesus Christ. Then pray about your need. Or if you're alone and you're saying, Lord, you promised that you would never leave me or forsake me, then present your need. Pray to him about it. Well, if we do that, we remind ourselves of what God has done for us and what his promises are for us so we can go to prayer more confidently and know that he has our back and he's listening to us and he's there to help us. God bless everyone. I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.